All right, guys, so I am excited to go over your Adrenal Fatigue Warrior uh, toolkit, but today we're going to be talking about the supplements. And, you know, I, I'm really excited to, to do this with you guys. I get a lot of questions as to what's the best supplements for adrenal fatigue. And, and, and I hope you've already watched the other presentation in terms of how to think about adrenal fatigue a little bit differently. There's a lot of things going wrong with the body. Your body's not making energy at the fundamental level. And ultimately, it impacts you at all on all areas. So a lot of people will ask me, hey, what's the best supplement that I can take for this? Or what's the best supplement for that? And so I wanted to put together a guide for you guys. Um, I will definitely have it a, a, a PDF cheat sheet, if you will, so that you can look after uh, these supplements in, in a nicely organized way. Um, and I also have them available on my uh, Adrenal Fatigue Society website. And if you're an inside member, you'll be getting a whole lot of discounts on that. So let's go forward. So I first want to talk to you about how to think about supplements, because I know when you guys open up your your cabinets or your what you call your medicine cabinets and there's a thousand and one different supplements and I really want you to think about supplements a little bit differently and that's why I'm trying to educate you because if you can understand what's going wrong biochemically in the body not just at the adrenal glandular level but at the cellular level um, and you can you can customize a, a recovery protocol around what you need, not necessarily what you read. So I want you to think about supplements in terms of whatever you can get from your nutrients, from your food intake on a daily basis will ultimately outweigh what you can take in terms of a supplement. And we focus so much on the actual supplements that we need to take, we sometimes forget about the qu quality of our food, the minerals and the vitamins and the nutrients and how densely packed those nutrients and, and food sources are will really make a huge difference on your, on your energy levels, your adrenal health. And I really want you to try to put as much effort, and I'm sure you do, um, but really, if you're if you're getting something that's out of a package, or if it's frozen, or if it's um, if it's not organic, or it's not um, it, it's synthetic and it's hybridized and GMOs, those are going to really make huge impacts for you. So I know you want to limit the amount of supplements that you're taking. But whatever you can get from your food source is going to vastly outweigh what you can take in terms of supplements. And like we said, we really want you to understand what's happening at the cellular level. We know from our last presentation that there's a lot of different things that can go wrong when you have an, a hormone imbalance or when we're stressed out or when we don't make energy or we, we, don't, we don't concentrate or we get anxious or we don't sleep through the entire night or we just don't handle stressors the same way. We want to know what's happening at the cellular level and if you understand that which we're going to teach you all throughout this adrenal fatigue society website um, then you'll start to understand how to customize a recovery program around your supplements so so the other thing I want you to think about too is when you're taking a supplement how can you multitask your supplements and what do I mean by that is I, I see a lot of people ask me hey I take zinc I take selenium I take iodine I take b1 I pay, take b2 next thing you know you're on 25 different supplements and if you can understand what's going wrong with the body and you understand the biochemistry then you can get a lot of two for ones or three for ones or four for ones and that's what I've tried to present for you and what I mean by that is you can get supplements that aren't just good for one thing they're good for five different things like something that settles down inflammation that also helps with receptor site um, communication which also helps with your gut microbiome and signaling your immune system that's like a five-in-one supplement where you don't have to be taking four different supplements when you could just take one that can give you four different benefits so I really want to talk to you about that so let's go over our top 10 supplements so that we understand which are the best ones that we could be going for. So first of um, the NT Factor, this is my number one favorite and I'm really sorry I don't have a, a product image but it's made by Allergy Research Group. We'll make sure we give you the, the link here. Um, people think it's expensive. It, it retails at 90 some odd dollars but here's the thing, that's a three month supply and that's if you're taking it every day so and, and what we teach when we're we're teaching you about how to take supplements we're teaching you not to have to take supplements every day and understand your body and when you need it and when you don't need it and pulsing the nutrients so that 
you're getting the longer shelf life out of your supplements. And so if you have, you know, that short term mentality of, oh, it's too expensive, it's $90 for one for for one bottle. But the thing is that bottle could last you three months, if not longer. So I want you to think about it like that. But NT factor is awesome. What it basically does is it's these energy lipids, these phospholipids that help support your your cells, the, the membranes, the mitochondrial membranes, the healthier your energy, um, the healthier membranes, the better the communication is, the better mitochondrial um, control you have. And it's all about membrane health. And, and no one's telling you about this. So I want to tell you about this. Um, it can, contains a, a, vari a variation of these phospholipids, which are basically a, a, a combination between a, a glucose molecule and a, and, a, and a protein molecule and a lipid molecule. And these have been scientifically selected in a ratio that have these lipids that help repair these cell membranes and allow for the cells to breathe properly, to get oxygen, exchanging of nutrients, removing of toxins. It's, it's just that great. Um, it supports the structural vitality of the cells. It helps the mitochondria. It helps make more ATP naturally. And the best part of it, there's no stimulants like caffeine or sugar or ephedra, which are, are typically energy drinks or energy lotions or potions that people take are, are going to be stimulatory, and, and we don't want to do that. And they also have been basically shown to help make more energy, and, and that's what they're so great. And the healthier your membrane, the healthier you're going to absorb nutrients, the healthier you're going to communicate, the healthier your enzymes are going to work, and the more sensitivity to hormones. And really, that's what we really want, isn't it? The next one we really like, number two, is called Max BND. And I'm really, really high up on this one. Um, it's a probiotic fermented vitamin B. I know a lot of people that have SIBO get concerned because they can't take any fermented foods um, or the low FODMAP. But I would tell you that um, most B vitamins are coal tar derivatives. And you heard that right, coal tar, which is basically petroleum-based nutrients that are, are resins and, and really they can do more harm than good. Um, and, and, you know, we really, really love the fermented base because you're getting more than two for one. You're getting a probiotic in there. You're, it's fermented, so it's healthy for the actual microbiome. It's going to help the B vitamin during times of stress and your body's ability to adapt with, with getting the sufficient nutrients from your diet. Um, it's an advanced formula, and it helps the liver. Most of our, obviously, methylation and, and energy production takes place in the liver, helps our immune system system it helps our adrenals it helps the cardiovascular system it mood, balances your mood and it just gives you lots of energy um, it's a nutritional first where it's a they're all in their methylated forms it's a probiotic um, each half a teaspoon supplies so much energy and all the B forms that are all in the reduced or the methylated version not the synthetic folic based version and it has B5 B6 B2 uh, B9, B12, it's just an awesome formula. And it basically helps the immune system, it helps balance your, your mood, it gives you a great quality probiotic, and it's delivered in your water. And, and you know, you're supposed to drink more water. Um, the third one that we really love is called the Adaptogen R3. Um, it's made by Premier Research Labs again. And I love Premier Research Labs just because there's they don't put a lot of they don't put any excipients or toxic tag alongs. They use um, great quality nutrients. They do mass spectrometry to to see if the quality in their in their ingredients are top notch. Notch. Are there any firm, any impurities? Are there any um, uh, problems with the the content that they're putting in there? Um, an adaptogen is an herb that basically helps our body adapt to the needs. Um, if we're too high or we're too low, um, and What's great about this, it's not stimulatory. Um, it helps the adaptive process to deal with stress both mentally and physically. Um, and it features rhodiola rosea, which is basically a golden root. It's a hardy Siberian plant that has been used traditionally for hundreds of years. And research shows that it offers a lot of ranges in terms of helping your metabolic health. It has a perfect blend of rhodiola per pro, uh, which is one of three um, adaptogens con contained, hence the adaptogen R3. It also contains illithero root. Uh, an American ginseng and um, also maca root to deliver the perfect adaptogenic blend. 
The fourth one that we really love is creatine. Um, and I really think you need to understand a little bit more about that. Basically what it does is it helps make ATP. That's the bottom line. It helps your muscles produce energy a lot better and it sparks your muscles ATP reserve. I mean, I can't tell you how many people that I work with or that are de dealing with an adrenal problem or as we've talked about, a stress problem and energy problem and cellular problem. The muscles are not able to recover and re 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 rebuild. And so creatine is an interesting molecule. It helps synthesize um, from in the liver from amino acids. And if you're not absorbing your amino acids and you have methylation blockages, then it's going to impact your ability to regenerate and rebuild and regrow. Um, also, ATP is the process in the body that is the most, it's the most available form of energy. Um, and when ATP is broken down, it's broken down into ATP. And what happens basically is when you can't rebuild ATP from ADP, then you have lack of energy. And creatine is basically going to help you do that. Um, creatine is going to, like I said, help convert back ADP into ATP, and this is going to give you more energy. Creatine is also uh, pro good for muscle mass and muscle strength. Not that you're, a lot of females will say, well, I don't want to get muscular. It's just not going to work like that. What it's going to do, it's going to help rebuild the muscle's ability to make energy, and that's going to be really important for, for all energy processes in the body. The next one we have is the pure form plant-based omegas. Um, you know, I, I know a lot of you are taking fish-based oils, and I have a podcast that I really want you guys to, to listen to. I'll put that in the link here so that you can watch that. But it basically talks about the dangers of fish oils. Um, pure form omegas are natural essential fatty acids, both in the parent sixes and the parent threes, and it basically helps um, your body uh, make energy effectively for, for your cells to repair and regenerate. Um, the only way to get these fats is through your diets. They're essential fatty acids. That's why they're called essential. And if you eat processed foods or you eat rancid oils or you eat vegetable oils that are heat, heated at a very high temperature um, or even the hydrogenated oils, um, they're going to be impure. And what's going to happen is it's going to impact your cell membranes. And your cell membranes, which we talked about already, is how we have awesome, awesome amounts of energy. So um, it's also really great for anti-inflammatory processes. Processes. They're naturally organic, they're cold pressed, and there's a bunch of different types of um, vegetable based oils in there, and, and they're really great for energy production and inflammation. The next one we have, I really think, is one of my secret weapons. It's number six, the nucleotides. Um, and basically, what are nucleotides? Well, that's a great question. Um, they, they help produce proteins and, and rebuild and proteins make enzymes and protein make immune cells and intestinal flora so it's a really awesome you know multi-purpose nutrient that can really help your your energy production and your immune system these are a proprietary blend of nucleic acids and what they will do is they'll help build your skin your hair your teeth your nail your bones if you feel like a sickness coming on it's really, really helpful, and it's an awesome nutrient. Um, it's also made from a full-spectrum blend that supplies a broad range of botanical agents. Again, phytonutrients, phytochemicals. There's no um, excipients or toxic tagalongs. It's, it's one of my favorites. Number seven and number eight are really used together. A lot of people are in overwhelm. They're overstimulated. They're in, in, in anxious, and, and they're in that fight-or-flight mechanism, and they just can't settle down. And you're bombarding that cell to death with too much mess. Messages. Ultra pollen is a really great nutrient. It's been around for centuries and we've known the benefits of the bioflavonoids in, in pollens and they've had outstanding health uh, benefits. Uh, Premier Research Labs have a lipophilic and hydrophilic, meaning it loves fat and water, um, so it can, it can really help every cell in the body. There's no mold spores that's been mass spectrometered, and so we check to see if there's any problems with the way it's produced. There's no, there's no pesticides as well, because that's a big concern. And these flower-based pollens can really just help antioxidant status for mitochondrial function and really settle down the bombardment of excitation to the cell. Um, uh, flower poll pollen also delivers the natural occurring nutrients that are designed by nature um, to help the body uh, help it, it, you know ex ex it, sorry to help the body just excel with health. Um, it has 10 am essential amino acids and also the non-essential amino acids, antioxidants and enzymes. So they say it's one of those perfect foods. 
Um, and then the propolis is a really awesome nutrient that we utilize um, to settle down as well. It, it, it can also help with your immune system and it can also help with settling down the excitatory response. And we use that many times with patients that, that are waiting for their test results to come in and they wanna see their genetic test results and their Dutch test and all of the tests that we do. And ultimately they say, hey, what can I take right away to just you know settle down and get out of overwhelm? Um, then aside from everyone that we've mentioned, propolis and the ultrapollen are used together and that really gives awesome benefits. Um, again, there's natural, including uh, bioflavonoids and chrysine, which really slow down the, the upregulation of the stress response, and it's a really great supplement. The next one, number nine, is Pro Greens by Allergy Research Group. It, it also has a probiotic. It's basically a superfood. Um, it's got an all-natural drink that's formulated with the highest quality superfoods, broad-spectrum nutritionals, green grasses, um, all these things, vitamins, minerals. I I'm actually sort of wrote these down for you. In addition to the green grasses, there's sea vegetables, algae. It contains adaptogenic herbs, extracts, probiotics, fiber, nutrient-rich superfoods. I mean, it's got these wheat grasses, barley grass, alfalfa grass. And you don't have to be, it's gluten free. So when you hear about like wheatgrass, it's not, it doesn't have gluten in it. It's got blue green algae, spirulina, chlorella, um, donalia, and dulse powder, which is going to be high with your, with your trace minerals and vitamins. Also, it has the um, probiotic, which is a non dairy, and the bifido, which are really great for histamine problems. It's got the natural flax powder and the apple pectin, which is a great um, source of fiber. And, and, and it's a great prebiotic, which is going to help with maturing your healthy flora. It's also got all the liver extracts that are going to help with antioxidant production and detoxification. And then it's got the adaptogenic herbs. So it's, it's really a, a powerhouse. It's also got the, um, the antioxidants with these, um, with these nutrients and as well as the antioxidants. So that's, a, that's one of my favorites as well. And then lastly, you know, a trace mineral uh, that we love is called Trace Mineral uh, Research. Um, it's new and improved. It's, it's a potent formula. It says 400,000 volts of electrolytes um, can really cause your body to create energy. Because really, at the end of the day, when you're making ATP, you need to have enough um, minerals and vitamins to help with that Krebs cycle and all those, um, those cellular reactions that need um, these trace minerals. And that's why they call it 40,000 volts. And um, it also has sea minerals and it aids in basically the vitality of, of, of everything. So hopefully you, you got a lot of benefit out of this. Um, we will have these supplements available on our store. Um, if you're a member of our Adrenal Fatigue Society, you'll get extra savings. And um, it, you know we'll be featuring a lot of different nutrients, but these would probably be my, my top 10 favorite go-to um, ones. And I hope you got a lot of value out of that. And then lastly, you can see the serving sizes uh, of these trace minerals. They have magnesium, chloride, sodium, potassium, sulfate, boron, and then other, other minerals that you don't see in there. Well, the thing I really like about it is there's really no uh, excipients or, or toxic tag-alongs, and, and we find it very, very helpful for our patient base. So hope you enjoyed this, uh, this Adrenal Fatigue Recovery Toolkit. Um, we will have also the PDF files for all of these supplements and how to get them. And also um, make sure that you check out all the other sources that we have on our, on our website. So I uh, hope you enjoy this and I look forward to ending your adrenal fatigue nightmare. Thank you so much.